All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house. And today I'm in the house with the Crooked River by Benchmade here with me for a review. And we're gonna analyze the look, the sound and the feel of this guy. But hey, don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying this kind of content. So let's check this guy out, how it looks, how it sounds and how it feels. So let's start from the look and just analyze the size of this big boy. This is not a small guy, guy, guys. Um, over nine inches, like 9.2 inch long, overall in length with a four inch long blade and a 5.2 inch long handle. So not a small knife, look at that. Up against Ontario round number two, it makes it almost disappear. And also up against Ontario rat, num rat number one, which is not a small boy, it's kind of like smaller than that. So um, another couple options uh, you uh, can check out from Benchmade, this is the mini bug out. And look at this, it's kind of like, yeah, the handle, the size of the handle when open. And this is the regular bug out also from Benchmade. So you can check uh, these three boys all together. And uh, here you have uh, a Spyderco Para 3, if you're like a owner or fan of Spyderco, you can check that out. It's a classic as well as a classic is this uh, uh, Spyderco Paramilitary 2, which still is smaller than the Crooked River. And look at that. This is the uh, small Sebenza 21. And here you have your large Sebenza 21, which are both like not disappearing, but kind of like, yeah, pretty much smaller than the uh, big boy in the house today. This is the Custom Knife Factory 520, Philip Georgie designed, and of course, uh, Bigger Brother designed by Peter Rassenti, also from Custom Knife Factory, Snafu 2.0, fantastic knife, guys. Um, let me just show you another couple options. Here we have the Shirogorov Neon R20, and it's Bigger Brother. We have the Shirogorov um, F95, nudist in a slim configuration. And you can see, again, this guy is just a beast of a knife. Probably it's the biggest um, knife that I have uh, here in the house. Uh, this is also another Benchmade. This is the uh, Mini Adamas. Uh, and uh, what else can I show you? Just another couple of classics uh, because we have them. Uh, this is the Koenig Knives Arius. Uh, this is Style 55. And uh, what else can I show you? Something big that I have? Not really. I'm gonna show you some carbon fiber goodness. This is the Hinder Knives XM18 3.5 inch long. Also we've got the Hation Zero, which doesn't get much love uh, lately, so that's why I'm gonna show it to you. Another carbon fiber option we have, it's the Nandi by Chris Rib Knives in this basket weave configuration. And also look at this, we have the Miguron Knives, this is the Centurion, and um, uh, that's it, right? Um, what, what, yeah, also look at this. Spartan Blade Astor also in the house. So you have uh, an idea of uh, the size of this one. So you know that this is not a small knife. It's not, uh, uh, it's not a, it's a pocket knife, yes, but it's like, it's a big boy. Um, Benchmade, Crooked River, Murdered Out, carbon fiber, uh, nice backspacer, all black titanium, black screws, S90V steel, blacked out clip, it's a blacked out knife. It's a black knife. It's dark, but it's really, really good. Uh, there's a couple reasons why I like this one. Uh, first of all, this guy is the price. This guy can be around 450 Canadian dollars before tax. I don't know the price in US, but still it's it's not a cheap one in this configuration. If you get something like S30V and G10, it's gonna be of course like cheaper than this guy. But overall, this is very, very nicely done. It's um, it, it, it's it's a cool one. It's a classic design. It's an axis lock, of course. Uh, that's the, deploy, uh, the uh, lock mechanism. As you can see, you have a couple of uh, Omega springs uh, pulling down this axis which is going to uh, go right over here in this indentation and it's just gonna slide up and lock the blade in place so if you want to disengage you just pull it down and this guy just goes down so very very simple and straightforward uh, construction for this guy you have a uh, T8 uh, Torx bit for the pivot and T6 for the handle screws and for the uh, stop pin right over here. And uh, it's uh, it's a very interesting one. It's a big boy. There's no, um, there's a little bit of internal chamfering, but mostly it's chamfered on the outside. You've got the liners, which are skeletonized. Uh, as you can see, maybe right over here, you can see these holes, uh, which are gonna contribute to reduce the weight uh, for sure. Uh, there's 
a lanyard hold option right over here. You've got uh, uh, your backspacer going on with some uh, uh, some jimping, uh, some geared options over here. You have some jimping over here. No jimping on the blade. So just keep that in mind. The tip of the blade is safely recessed right over here. You're not going to be able to touch it. Uh, and the overall look when this guy is closed is fantastic. Just not super fan of this uh, gap over here, but I mean, it's not a deal breaker. It's just, just me. Um, you have uh, um, also a very, very interesting feel in the hand. This is created by this groove over here and this larger size works absolutely fantastic for my hands. So look at this. I have big hands, but this is a big boy, but this feels absolutely comfortable in the hand. Um, you have a uh, tip up carry only, uh, sorry, tip up carry only, yes, pocket clip, but it's reversible. You can just put it over here. You cannot just mount it on this side. So this guy is going to be uh, fully ambidextrous because the axis lock can be of course, uh, um, accessed by both uh, lefties and uh, uh, right-handed people. And uh, you can just flip this uh, uh, clip on this side. Um, nice and reversible. So spring tension is pretty good. And if you check the blade, it's, uh, it's something that I really love. It, it has a very, very nice uh, profile. I love this sweeping line going down right here. Um, not, not much chamfering going on over here. No jimping, no thumb ramp. You've got a swedge starting from here, getting right to the tip of the blade, absolutely symmetrical. You have a flat grind, you have probably like 40% belly and then straight up, up to the uh, sharpening choil, which has an interesting design and it shows how thin behind the edge this blade is and it's pretty good, murdered out, S90V, you've got a couple thumb stud, you have the Benchmade logo over here and the, of course, S90V logo on the back. So it's, a, it's not too crowded, but this is standing out, of course, especially because this is a blacked out blade. So white on black, yeah, big contrast. And you're going to notice that for sure. Let's just quickly check how uh, thick is this blade over here. It's going to be 0.123 inches. And if you check the uh, edge over here, it's going to be 0 0.0225 inches. So it's a pretty good slicer, not too thick. Uh, to be like a big blade, four inches long, it's it's going to be a beast of a slicer. I would have preferred maybe some hollow grind or maybe like full flat grind to achieve a little bit more uh, thinness behind the edge, but it's not like a deal breaker. Uh, you've got uh, a nice uh, uh, sharpening choil. It's not really like a finger choil, but it's just there. Also, these thumb studs are uh, functional. Um, so uh, you can decide like if you want to deploy the knife like that, or if you just want to just maybe do like a, a spidey flick. Maybe I can do, oops. Maybe I can do it like this. Yes. Or like you can just deploy it with the uh, um, with the axis lock, just by disengaging the axis lock and a little bit of a wrist flick. The sound this guy makes, like, l listen to this. Nice. Nice and click. It's a nice click. When you close it, it's super strong. Like, look at this. Boom. It's just resounding. It's loud. It's rebounding even and creating some kind of vibration when you close it off. Uh, you can also change the sound as uh, when you decide to employ the axis lock to deploy the blade and it's going to sound like that. So a deeper clack and if you close it, that's going to be the clacky sound you're going to make and you're going to probably annoy the heck out of people uh, surrounding you. But you're going to be having so much fun because this is like extremely fidgety. It's super funny, uh, fun to use, to deploy like that. It's fast. It's, um, it's really, really good to play with is, uh, it's, it's cool. It's the axis lock. So I, I really, I really like it. Uh, probably what I would have preferred uh, to be a little bit uh, less is the weight because this is 5.23 ounces. So, I mean, it's not like super heavy, but still it's over five uh, ounces uh, and you're going to feel it in the hand. Uh, zero hot spots in the hand. Fantastic feel. It's gorgeous, guys. For my big hands, this is just phenomenal. I mean, look at this. It stays in my hand perfectly. If you want to do reverse grip, great. I have like plenty of space for my thumb to, to hold onto that safely. It's just uh, it's just a good feel. Uh, nice finger grooves going on. Zero uh, sharp edges. You've got uh, 
the right amount of uh, uh, grippiness, the right amount of sharpness on these two guys. And uh, you see, they grip well, there's some friction to it, and you're gonna be able to uh, disengage the, the, the blade super easily with this, with zero finger soreness, super, super good. No rattling when shaking is well put together, I'm, I'm telling you. Uh, it feels solid, there's the, some backspacer, thick slabs, carbon fiber. It's well put together, I, I'm telling you. Um, you might encounter some lock stick, but that goes away as soon as you break in uh, the blade. Like for example, if I do this, you see there's no lock stick, but if I'm whacking up like that, or like with the uh, thumb flick, you see, I might have just a little bit, but this is just because this is brand new. In a bit, I keep playing with this, it's gonna go away and it's gonna be so fun just to do this, that it's gonna be super smooth. Really, really cool action. Of course, it's drop shot and, by the way, this guy is running on phosphorus bronze washers, not bearings, and that's why the axis lock is so cool. It allows for a um, washer run uh, uh, pivot system to be this smooth and this fast. So just make sure you use both uh, uh, your index finger and your thumb to disengage the lock and just to pull down uh, using equally uh, the two th springs because if you keep doing like that uh, you're gonna stress one spring more than the other and that might lead to a break potentially so just keep that in mind uh, i mean action is probably the highlight of this one super fun and playful uh, deployment uh, uh, options you have super smooth super fast really really look at the detent over here look at that <laughs> boom like it's super like magnet effect like from this height so just be careful that can be uh, chopping your finger if you're like not used to that so I mean overall this is a this is a pretty cool knife guys it's a big boy I know but looks good and murdered out like that is just fantastic and menacing and looks mean action is amazing really cool sound ergonomics are stellar this is a really really cool knife a hundred percent so there you have it hope you guys enjoyed this video Please don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching, stay tuned.